that feeling that you get right now when you don't take alcohol at a party where you just feel awkward and, and weird, it's, it's not like that forever. It, it changes very quickly. Over the course of a couple weeks and a couple months without alcohol and drugs, you begin to feel better than when you were taking the drugs. You begin to feel more alive and more present than when you were taking the drugs. But you have to get past that initial that initial hump. The Just getting started is the hardest part. <sighs> All right, boys. So I have a question for you. Can you have fun without alcohol? Can you have fun without alcohol? Now, this video is going to be a reflection on several different topics. Uh, social anxiety, the matter of having deep presence and being able to conversate with, with other people, and a few other different related topics that are all about, again, just the matter of presence and, and genuine connections. So let's start with the background context. So a few days ago, me and my friends, we went to a party and the party was a no alcohol party. That was one of the one of the rules for the party. And my friend on the way over, he was just like complaining that like the entire time. Oh, there's not gonna be any alcohol. We should we should go pregame, blah, say blah, say blah. And it just made me think about people all across America who are going out to these parties and who are who need alcohol to to be social. People have become so reliant on alcohol and drugs and and so many other things to, to become social creatures. And as soon as that alcohol is gone, we become withdrawn and we don't even want to go out to, to socialize anymore. And, and again, I'm not I'm not attacking my friend here. It's about the, the, the state of the world in general. And, and it's, it's, it's about you. And I'm, I'm talking to my younger self when I say this because I used to be like this. Like I make these videos for my younger self. And a couple years back, I was in a state where I would I, I was afraid to go to parties without being drunk or without being high because I didn't know how to be social. And I just want to encourage you to question whether you are able to be social without having the influence of all of these different stimulants and different drugs and different alcohol. Like, can you can you have fun and connect with people without having to have something to 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 push that to to, to boost that? Do you need something external to make yourself social? Because that's not the natural state of things for human beings. We are not, we are social creatures. And if you are, if you are reliant on alcohol or drugs or anything else to try to be social, then that is problematic. You need to, you need to work on that. And again, I'm not attacking you. I just want to encourage you to, to look at yourself honestly in the mirror sometimes and question whether you are becoming too reliant on these external, ex external stimulants to allow yourself to be a social person. And when we got to the party, again, it was no alcohol. And I noticed that a lot of people were just sitting around, disconnected, not talking, just off in their own worlds. It made me it made me think about like this the state of social activity in America and in the world at large. Like are we are we are we all becoming too reliant on these stimulants? And I know that alcohol isn't a stimulant, but I'm, I'm just saying that because it stimulates the social activity. So I, I'm using that word colloquially, colloquially, not in its literal sense. But anyways, we, we, we rely on these stimulants to try to allow us to be social. And we lose the ability to be social in our natural rawness. And that's a problem. Again, that is so problematic. Like you're not always going to have alcohol you're not always going to have drugs and even if you could always have those why would you want to be reliant on something else to make you able to connect with other individuals you shouldn't need anything to be able to connect with people it, it's it's a sad state of being it's a it's a sad state of existence to be to be unable to talk and genuinely connect without alcohol and again i'm not and again i'm not attacking you i just want to encourage you to look at yourself honestly and think of if you can have fun without alcohol because that's very important but anyways how do you fix that like okay i'm addicted to alcohol but how do i fix that simple stop drinking alcohol stop doing drugs stop relying on these things that allow you to to become comfortable within them rather than just forcing yourself to to be in these situations 
So the next time you go to a party, try to stay off the alcohol. Try, try to stay off. Try to stay off the drugs. Just be yourself. Just be present. Just be in the moment. Don't rely on the alcohol. Don't rely on the drugs. And it's going to feel very uncomfortable at first because I went through the same process. It's going to feel very uncomfortable. But over time, you, you reach a point where you no longer need the alcohol. You no longer need the drugs. You just feel alive within yourself and you feel connected within yourself. And your brain no longer relies on the dopamine from the alcohol and from the drugs. And you can connect without needing those things. And you feel more alive without those things. You, it, it, it's tough to explain to someone who doesn't understand the science behind dopamine. But when you remove these substances from your life and from your brain, you begin to enjoy these social interactions more without those substances. You, you no longer, it's not like you're, it's not like, that feeling that you get right now when you don't take alcohol at a party where you just feel awkward and, and weird, it's, it's not like that forever. It, it changes very quickly. Over the course of a couple weeks and a couple months without alcohol and drugs, you begin to feel better than when you were taking the drugs. You begin to feel more alive and more present than when you were taking the drugs. But you have to get past that initial, that initial hump. The, just getting started is the hardest part. Like those first two, three weeks without the drugs and without the alcohol is the hardest part. But after you get past that, meeting people and making those genuine connections and, and being social without these external, these external substances, it becomes more natural to you. you. You feel more right just being a social individual and being yourself. And you develop a deeper sense of presence through this process. You, you, you feel more present and rooted in the moment. And that's a rarity in this day and age. This isn't a diss, it's not disrespect, it's just a, an honest observation on the state of people in this world. Most people seem to have these very surface level, flitting, weak presences. They, they aren't fully here in the moment. So when you remove these substances from your life and you focus on developing a deep, grounded presence and deep, grounded, a, an aura about yourself, where your presence is felt, where your energy is felt, that is such a rarity and you will stand out and you will be able to make these social connections and life just becomes better, okay? Simple as that. Life becomes so much better when you're not reliant on these external substances, okay? Okay. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you take some time to reflect on if you can have fun without needing substances to do that. And if you can, great for you but i know that some people can't and i used to be one of those guys so i wanted to make this video for guys like my younger self anyways wish you the best in this journey and i'll see you on the next video peace out